In recent years, we've witnessed an explosive increase in the popularity of the Korean language around the world. But long before attaining the status of global cosmopolitan cool, Korean has been the language of great emotional and cultural significance for the Korean diaspora community, which spans across East and Central Asia, Europe, North and South Americas, among other parts of the world. In the U.S., the Immigration and Nationality Act of 1965 marked a watershed moment for Korean Americans. By the end of the 1970s, more than 250,000 Koreans had immigrated. Around 30,000 more Koreans would immigrate to the States every year through the 80s and the 90s. As of 2019, over 2.3 million Koreans and those of Korean descent reside in North America, with 1.7 million of them in the U.S. Koreans are the fifth largest Asian American group, and New Jersey is the state with the third largest Korean American population. And if you are watching this video, chances are that you are one of them. Do you feel that you should know more about Korea? Do you wish you could communicate better with your grandparents? Do you sometimes find yourself freeze up when you have to speak Korean in a formal setting? Do you want to improve your Korean reading and writing skills? Rutgers offers a Korean heritage language program specifically tailored to your needs with a textbook specially designed for you. As a Korean minor, I learned more than just language. I learned history, culture, and traditions that I weren't able to learn being raised by a Korean household or through the years of Korean school I took through my elementary and middle school years. I really like learning Korean here because I got to learn about Korean culture and language that I didn't know about and the professors made it a lot more fun than it could have been. With the vocabulary that I built as a Korean minor, I'm able to hold much stronger conversations with my grandparents that I wasn't able to hold before. I was raised in a Korean American home where my father brought us up to really honor our motherland and I spent my young years learning to read and write with my grandmother. In the spring of 2021, I'll be teaching as a visiting artist at Seoul National University and I've been really delighted to expand my language skills. Learning Korean is an intriguing experience. So learn Korean at Rutgers University.